Hey, good afternoon everybody. This is Chris Lightness Mobility Site.com. Today I have a new phone to take a look at. It's the uh, AT&T Fuse. The AT&T Fuse is going to be replacing the AT&T Tilt in the AT&T lineup. And uh, it's basically the HTC Touch Pro with a couple changes, but uh, it's got 528, uh, tw 528, 512 megabyte of ROM, 288 RAM. It's a uh, Windows Mobile 6.1 device. Got a Qualcomm 528 megahertz processor, and uh, that's about all you really need to know. Um, here's the device right there. We're going to do a real quick unboxing here. Uh, as you can see, the uh, packaging is uh, not the typical orange and blue that you get from an AT&T product normally. Okay, we have a goofy box here. There we go. Alright, in the box we've got an adapter. This looks like this is uh, the uh, kind of proprietary mini USB 2. I think this is going to probably be TV out. No, that's, well, it's got a little bit of everything on it. So we'll take a closer look at that in a little while, but that's a pretty neat looking to adapter there. You have um, a charge sync port to AC, charge sync cable from USB to mini USB, an extra stylus, an empty bag that uh, has a screen protector in it, in fact, which is uh, apparently the bag the actual device came in before the uh, public relations company took it out and charged it up for us before they sent it to us, which uh, no doubt they did. So, that's about it there. What is that? Is that something? I can't get that out. I don't know what that is, but it's there. So anyway, uh, let's turn this thing off and let's uh, make sure this is all charged up and then I'll come back and give you some comparison shots and photos or um, some comparison shots in a device walkthrough. Okay, we've got the thing charged up and ready to go and the first thing I want to tell you, this is much smaller than I expected it to be. And I want to show you some other things before I do. Let me just show you the difference between the size of the tilt and it. It just feels, it's about the same thickness as the tilt, but it's uh, shorter and much more narrow. As you can see there, well, not very noticeable, but it, it is a lot smaller than I expected. And you know, they're fitting in there the uh, 2.8 inch 640 by 480 VGA screen. One of the first things you'll notice that's big difference from the tilt is the keyboard. Let me scroll that out and let you uh, get a look at that. The keyboards are much different. There's five rows on the fuse and only four on the tilt. That's a big difference. Uh, I don't like where they put the function key because I keep wanting to hit the function key down in the bottom left, which is okay, and it actually takes you out of whatever application you're in. So, But anyway, let's take you around the device and show you. Uh, got your earpiece here, your AT&T logo obviously there. Uh, there's not many buttons on the front. You've got your home, your back, your talk, and your hang up. You've got a little scroll wheel, a navigation wheel, if you will, with a center punch. You can also click left, right, up, and down on those, but you can actually run your finger around it like that, kind of like an iPod scroll wheel, um, and uh, navigate through some things. It's actually called a zoom wheel, I think. Here you have your USB charge sync port. There is no uh, microphone or uh, my, uh, headphone jack. You've got your... Um, uh, soft reset here. Right here you have a magnetic, if you listen real closely here, so when it gets close you'll, it pulls it in there. It's magnetic stylus silo there and it's a small short stylus and it's not retractable and I'm not too thrilled about that but hey. On the right side you have nothing. On the top all you have is your power button there. On this side you've got your push to talk button I don't know if you can see that, yeah. And your volume keys. And we showed you the bottom. On the back you have that beveled diamond-like edge, which is a fingerprint magnet, but kind of attractive looking. 
uh, you've got a flash in your um, your camera which is a 3 megapixel camera uh, speaker and lanyard connector right there to get the battery you just uh, slide that up like that and here you have your micro SD slot here and your SIM slot and the battery which is a 1300 milliamp hour battery uh, I can't get it out right now but hey it's already in it's ready to go and just slide it back on there like that uh, like I showed you here the keyboard uh, when you get the AT&T fuse that sound is disabled and you can go into your settings and actually take care of that but you'll see here you've got a windows button there uh, I've got your uh, number keys are more like on some of the uh, front facing uh, keyboards now where you they're actually here instead of across the top you've got some uh, function Wi-Fi function page down T9 you can swap between T9 and regular for these buttons here um, SMS I am got your AT&T button there so they've really put a lot of like hot or shortcut keys if you will on this keyboard it's a little more cramped than the AT&T tilt a lot more cramped in fact I don't really like it I, I mean it's doable but I like the tilts keyboard much better and you can see right there the difference in size look at the keyboard width of the actual body of the device as opposed to the width of the keyboard for the fuse there so but anyway that is the uh, fuse let's uh, show you it up alongside some more uh, more modern devices we, we sh showed you some good tilt side-by-sides there's a side-by-side -side with the T-Mobile G1 you see the T1 uh, the, excuse me T-Mobile G1 is quite a bit thicker or taller uh, they're about the same thickness uh, not counting that little extra whatever they want to call it down there so um, the G1 also has a keyboard which is much nicer and more spacious in my opinion than the fuse but it's a much bigger device too so all right what else do we got here let's see this is the other AT&T newer offering here the AT&T epics which is much bigger than the fuse obviously it's a little bit thinner than the fuse uh, much taller the fuse is much taller or the the epics is much taller than the fuse excuse me so there we go the uh, Palm Trio Pro and the Palm Trio Pro is thinner but it is taller and wider as you see there the width you can tell there the height you can tell there so the well this one doesn't really fit the mold but the uh, Samson Instinct Samson Instinct however you pronounce it Samsung some people say yeah. and you can't compare a phone without what everybody wants to try to compare even though Windows mobile phones had touch screens far before the uh, touch screen iPhone came out we still can't keep from saying the iPhone killer this the iPhone killer that so there you go a little width there and let's uh, well Got your Palm Trio 750 if I remember that. It's about the same thickness. So, but anyway, um, let me get it uh, set up and we will give you a look at. Actually, I'm sitting here hitting buttons here. We'll get a look at the software. The big thing that most of you already know about is this touch flow, which is really neat. And I can't do it looking at. There we go. I'm looking through the camera trying to operate all this. So, uh, we'll take a few minutes and get set up and I'll show you a little bit about the software okay guys here we are with the um, AT&T fuse oh, media net configuration not found this may cause an error I'm not going to be connecting so we won't worry about that um, touch flow is an HTC basically you know a shell an add-on on top of Windows Mobile and it's it's pretty bulky but it's very robust in it it's very graphically intensive and it's really nice looking. I haven't got a lot of experience with touch flow because I haven't actually used a device that operates with it extensively, but I've tested a couple phones that do. But basically, uh, here's your home screen on it, and it's got some really neat things right up front, a big cal or a big uh, clock, which I like. It tells the date, 
and it says right here that the alarm is off, call history, and calendar. Then down here you have your tabs, and you can scroll through your tabs by running your finger across like this, or you can actually, you know, click on one. Let's why we stopped at the settings. I'll show you the settings, and this looks kind of. It, this came out before uh, before um, Android, but it looks kind of Androidish. You can scroll around like that and go up and down through there. But uh, let's say you wanted to, you know, set your communication settings. Just click right there. And it's, you know, touch flow, even though it's pretty intensive, is uh, runs pretty smooth on this phone. So we want to do turn Wi-Fi on and off, phone, airport mode, or airplane mode, or whatever. You just click on it. And uh, on top of all this, you can also, if you really wanted to, still use your start menu, which has been skinned a little differently and has a larger font for uh, ease of looking at and whatever. So anyway, we'll go back to the home. And what tabs do we have here? We have your home, and then you've got a calendar here. You can actually click on and goes to your regular Windows Mobile calendar. And I'll just keep hitting home. Sorry about that. Now let's put this down and get you a little closer in here. All right, so um, the next one we have is contacts. I haven't actually loaded any of that up. And you can scroll through all that. And then you got email. And if you're using Gmail or some of the other applications, I'm using an uh, Exchange server. You can see right there, what does that say? 99 messages. <laughs> um, there's a little, um, and this is the AT&T tab. This has uh, applications that AT&T's put on here. And I think that's it, just what you see there. Now, yeah, just that one page worth of them. And uh, this is media net. Well, anyway, you can figure that out. The next tab is the internet. And you have some options here. You can scroll up and down, and they've got some bookmarks here you can go to. And I accidentally just activated one of them, so we're opening up Opera. And I'm going to close it. I am not online right now because uh, I probably don't have a good enough signal here. Let's see. Yeah, I don't even have a signal at all. So. It's kind of what happens when you mess around and get into a, a bad area here. Um, you've got your this uh, music tab, and you can scroll through your different albums and whatever. And if it's got album art, it'll pop up there. Let's see if we can find one with album art. Just show you that. This is some preloaded content that they've given us. You can also scroll through the albums by flipping like that, which is kind of neat. So, ooh, that's going out of. Uh, here's a real neat thing. This is the weather app, and it's saying, oh, let's say no. Um, you can scroll through different uh, cities that you configure. Uh, let's see. And my finger's causing Taipei. It's raining. London's partly sunny. Los Angeles is sunny. You can go down here to five day. You can actually see what's going to look like. It's got some real neat little icons there. And that's what it's going to be like for the next, uh, since Friday when I first set this up. So we'll go back home and we'll scroll back over here. Uh, I'm trying to do this without, uh, or through the lens and, you know, y'all seen before that, um, that can be difficult. Here's your programs. This is uh, another tab. This is separate of the AT&T tab. This is actual programs like photos. Active Sync, Opera, whatever, and you can scroll up. And if, if you want to add some more, you can click that. And let's say we want to add Shop Games. Now we have Shop Games. So uh, your camera camera application. This is preloaded content here. You can scroll through the pictures here, or you can click here and actually bring up your camera, which this is a three megapixel camera. And I just turned it off while picking it up. And it's too dark to see, but that is your camera screen. It's pretty basic. Uh, let me go back to the home there. And we'll go this way. Where were we at? People, home, programs, photos, videos, and then we got settings again. So uh, let's go ahead and do this while we're here. Settings. And this is uh, going into regular old Windows Mobile that we all know. And we're going to go to system. 
and we're going to find memory. Well, let's go to device information first and uh, hardware. Here's some information about the Qualcomm processor, 520 megahertz processor, 255, 512, and all that good stuff, right? So, close that out, and we will go down here to memory, wherever memory is. There we go. Which we saw how much is installed, but this is a uh, it's pretty much off of clean boot right there, or a soft reset shortly before we started this and you'll see what you have free and available there so and I have no storage card installed at the moment so I'm missing I can't see there we go <laughs> so anyway that was just a quick uh, that's basically straight off the top um, let's go back to home again and we will show you the um, programs tab and we'll see if we got anything special here for you there's not a lot added to it. This is a, I don't know what that is. Teeter. Oh, this is a uh, game that's uh, motion activated. See that? Using the accelerometer that's in uh, within the device here. Oops, I missed. I'm trying to go to the end there. Let's try that again. Uh, sorry about that. We're going out of... Ooh goes so fast there we go that's a pretty neat game cool so I didn't even know that was in there but anyway yeah so that's a showcase of this has an accelerometer within it and uh, let's see uh, you've got your normal AT&T uh, what do you want to call it? cannon fodder that they add to it uh, let's see uh, AT&T and these um, don't really give you what they are uh, AT&T Music, Tools, let's see what we got under Tools here. And this is a first look, this is not a review, just to mind you, I haven't had a lot of time to play with this yet. I've only had it, well I've had it for a day or two, but I, I know <laughs> it's kind of sad to say, but I haven't had a chance to mess with it. AT&T AGPS, which is built in, uh, and I actually hit it. So these are like shortcuts to different aspects, messaging, um, cellular video. Uh, Opera Mobile, uh, we're going to open that up again, let's close that. Uh, something else I wanted to show you here is, let's go back to home here, the, let's see here, I'll see if I can find it for you, the um, under messaging, or uh, where was that at, that I saw that, under messaging, there's a real nice application for, and I can't find it now, there's a real nice application for um, for your uh, oh, and the uh, phone is skinned. So let's see, you got one of the phone numbers I was called earlier today. Um, there's a real nice IM application on here as well. But anyway, that's just a quick look at the AT&T Fuse, and um, it's going to be about $500 unsubsidized. Uh, I think it's going to be $299 with a contract. Uh, like I said, this has got a 2.8 um, 2.8 inch VGA screen it's at 640 by 480 which is excellent you can see the, the quality oh here let's do this let's go back to photos just so I can give you a look at the video quality on it um, let's see here that's music go to the photos tab or the photo yeah ah trying to do this on the uh, through the viewfinder stuff I'm sorry where are we at? Photos and videos. And we'll go to videos. Oh, that's the video recorder. Dead gimmick. We hit back on that. And it's there's a sample video they put on here. It's uh, number 12. I should have went the other way. Oops. Actually clicked on that. Hit play there. Of course you're going to be seeing this on YouTube, so it's not going to look all that great. But sitting here, that is a very nice looking video. But anyway, uh, my name is Chris Likeness, MobilitySite.com. Should have my full review up pretty soon. 
This uh, phone, like I said, is about 500 unsubsidized, 299 with the contract. Windows Mobile 6.1, uh, plenty of memory, a 1340 milliamp hour battery. Uh, it's uh, HSDPA, uh, 3G, tri-band HSDPA, uh, everything. Bluetooth 2.0, ADTP, A2DP stereo, 802.11G uh, Wi-Fi, a GPS built in, a 3.2 megapixel camera. It's pretty much everything, and like I um, showed you earlier on, it is much, not much smaller, but noticeably smaller than the AT&T tilt that we've all come to love, and I can't locate my tilt right now. I don't know where it's at to show you, so, <laughs> but anyway, it is small in the hand, it feels real good and solid, and uh, you can one hand use it pretty good. Uh, you've got your keyboard here for pumping out text messages and so forth. And uh, it's a really nice phone. It's pretty quick. You saw there was a little delay on the screen rotation, but not too much. It's about standard with the Windows Mobile device. And uh, real nice back end. Uh, I recommend it so far. So, but anyway.